This question got cut off a little bit up here, but I'll read it. This question says that Denise drew the figure below. So here's the figure, right? This is what they're talking about. Let me just try to outline it. If you look at what this figure is, let's just name it. We have one, two, three, four, five line segments, right? This is a called a pentagon. And that's because pent means five and, and gon relates to different kinds of polygons or numbered sides here. And it's a regular pentagon. Every side or, or edge is, is exact same. The question is, and here's the question, which figure is congruent, that's the key word, congruent, to the, to the figure Denise drew? Congruent, if this word is new to you, it means exactly the same, but moved or turned or flipped or rotated. So this, the, the edges themselves should still be five. Also, the size should be the same. And also, it could be flipped or turned. So B is out, right? There's still one, two, three, four, five sides, but it's much narrower. So that, that means that, that this edge right here has become much shorter, and so have these two. So that's not acceptable, right? It's been stretched or bent. D is out because it's the same exact shape, same exact orientation, but smaller. And that, that's something called, that's a similar shape, right? It's still the same type of shape, but smaller, but it's not congruent. C is, is, is not congruent or similar. Why? Because it's a different number of sides. It has one, two, three, four, five, six sides, right? So A must be the answer. And if you have a hard time seeing what's happening, they took this shape and they turned it 180 degrees right? Basically, the shape is, is upside down. And it's congruent because you can tell or estimate that it's, even though it still has five edges, you can estimate that all those edges are basically identical. Nothing really looks different. So I would say that A is congruent. All right, thanks a lot.